Nanobots will be flowing through your body by 2030. Sounds uncanny? Yes, it's true. Wait a while. We will be uncovering the most mysterious advancement in technology, which is going to make man's life easier, healthier, and more prosperous than ever. Robots, yes, robots, are not just taking over the skies. They are taking over our bodies. Or at least, they could be soon. Researchers are getting closer to making medical robots that can swim in your bloodstream. Imagine a technology so powerful that it will allow such feats as desktop manufacturing, cellular repairs, artificial intelligence, inexpensive space travel, clean and abundant energy, and environmental restoration. A technology so portable that everyone can reap its benefits. A technology so fundamental that it will radically change our economics and health system. A technology so imminent that most of us will see its impact within our lifetimes. Such is the promise of nanotechnology. Welcome to an all new episode of AI News. In this episode, I will be talking about the advanced technology of nanobots, how it has revolutionized the medical field, the ongoing medical trials, and how it is getting feasible day by day. We will also throw lights on the usefulness of nanorobots, keeping their size and placement in our body into consideration. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon not to miss any update. Nanotechnology refers to the emerging field of designing and building robots whose components are near the scale of a nanometer. It is due to advancement in technology that everything keeps getting smaller. Phones, computers, appliances, and more have shrunk in size since they were first developed. But some scientists are taking that concept to the extreme, with the end of bringing technology to a whole new frontier, the inside of our bodies. According to some futurists, in the next 10 years or so, your blood could be streaming with tiny nanorobots to keep you from getting sick and transmit your thoughts to a wireless cloud. They will travel inside of you on a molecular level, protecting your biological system and ensuring that you will have a good and healthy life. The future is closer than you may think. Nanobots injected into your bloodstream, the doctor is in. Your bloodstream, wow, isn't that a miracle? Advances in technology have increased our ability to manipulate the world around us. Nanotechnologies are rapidly emerging, and this subfield has been termed nanomedicine. An exciting and promising era of nanotechnological development is the building of nanobots, which are devices with components manufactured on a nanoscale. This area is replete with potential applications, many of which are currently being researched and developed. The field of nanorobotics traces its heritage to a 1959 lecture of physicist Richard Feynman, in which he envisaged a world where advanced technology allows scientists to physically manipulate atoms, the building blocks of matter. Titled, There's Plenty of Room at the Bottom, An Invitation to Enter a New Field of Physics, the seminal talk broached the possibility that humans could build machines so small they could not even be seen. Though it took decades for technology to catch up, Scientists eventually began exploring just how small they could go when it came to robotics. According to IFL Science, DNA robots are already being tested in animals to seek out and destroy cancer cells. These programmed strands of DNA have the capability to move through the bloodstream and injecting blood clotting drugs into blood vessels around tumors, cutting off their blood supply. If human trials go forward, these tiny robots could be revolutionary in treating cancer and other cell research. According to New Atlas, researchers believe that nanobots could soon deliver drugs to humans with a high degree of accuracy. This would allow for delivery of micro dosages right where the patient needs them and could help prevent side effects. Nanorobots can be our medical future. Nanobots are next generation nanomedicines. Recent advancement in nanotechnology indicates that relatively soon, the smaller than tiny robots might be capable of more than drug delivery. They could help detect diseases and even repair or manipulate damaged cells, potentially providing humans with longer lifespan. The reality of having a team of mini robots doing maintenance on your body though, is still years away. But medical researchers are already incorporating machines into our bodies more intimately than ever before. French doctors have said that a man who received an artificial heart in August has just returned home to live a normal life, signaling that the medical community is one step closer to commercializing permanent artificial replacement hearts. To date, some examples of what nanotechnology has enabled 
include the development of improved imaging techniques for higher sensitivity and detection of cancer and illness, improved targeting of drug treatments, decrease in number of adverse effects of chemotherapy, and enhanced effectiveness of other antineoplastic therapies such as cryotherapy and ultrasound. Let us trace the history with some uses of nanobots. The idea of tiny disease-fighting machines working inside the human body can be traced at least as far back as the 1966 movie Fantastic Voyage, in which a submarine and its crew were shrunken down and injected into a scientist's body to remove the dangerous blood clot. In real life, it is not so easy to shrink machines, much less than humans. Computer chips, electric motors, and batteries are too bulky to operate in blood vessels or between cells. But being able to access hard-to-reach areas of our bodies could have profound implications for medicines. So scientists are scrambling to find ways to power and control inside the body bots. The researchers are working with a biotech firm to commercialize the cancer-fighting nanobots. And NIE says that this is just the taste of what DNA nanobots can do. Because they give you much better control and can be made to work like a machine. In the future, we will demonstrate even more scenarios for our nanobots. From monitoring disease, to finding tissue damage, curing cancer, and maybe even finding and destroying plaques in our blood vessels. In addition to boosting the effectiveness and lessening the side effects of powerful drugs, nanobots loitering in our bloodstream could act as an early warning system for disease, and tiny wireless surgical tools could let doctors perform medical procedures without cutting people open. Special sensor nanobots can be inserted into the blood under the skin where microchips coated with human molecules and designed to emit an electrical impulse signal monitor the sugar levels in blood. Closing in on medical microbots. As researchers move towards actually using their microrobots inside humans, they have tested a range of potential application. Tiny medical bots could deliver drugs to specific locations, thereby increasing the effective concentration while reducing side effects elsewhere. In another step forward, a team from China reported that they were able to create microbots capable of passing through the blood-brain barrier. They took a magnetic nanogel carrying a drug and coated it with the membrane from an Escherichia coli bacteria. When they injected the concealed nanogel into mice, cells from their immune system called neutrophils swallowed up the nanobots, mistaking them for an invading bacteria. Then the researchers were able to use magnetic fields to move the nanobot containing neutrophils around inside the mice's bloodstreams, eventually crossing into their brains. The technique could be used one day to treat brain tumors, the team suggested. Nanotechnology will change dentistry, healthcare, and human life more profoundly than many developments in the past. As with all technologies, nanotechnology carries a significant potential for misuse and abuse on a scale and scope never seen before. However, they have significant potential to bring about significant benefits, such as improved healthcare, reduced environmental pollution. These truly are the days of wonder and miracle. Once nanomechanisms are available, the ultimate dream of every healer, medicine man, and physician throughout recorded history will at last become a reality. Programmable and controllable microscale robots comprised of nanoscale parts fabricated to nanometer precision will allow medical doctors to execute curative and reconstructive procedures in the human body at the cellular and molecular level. Nanomedical physicians of the 21st century will still make good use of the body's natural healing powers and homeostatic mechanisms, because those intervene least. So if nanobotic injection becomes an option, will you volunteer to take the first steps to becoming a cyborg? Are you open to this kind of change? Please share your answers in the comment section. We would love to hear your responses and comments. Thank you for watching.